guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Gina and I had VSG surgery on April 25th, 2022. I'm about two months post-op now, um, so I'm back on a normal diet. So today is going to be a quick meal prep video. I did not go grocery shopping this week. I have a bunch of stuff in my freezer that I need to kind of go through and start getting rid of it because it's packed to the brim. Um, so I've dug around in there and we are going to do like... I'm hoping this is going to take me an hour tops um, cooking and then obviously dividing is going to take a little bit longer but this is kind of what I have planned with what I have in my fridge and freezer. So I'm going to just do a couple hard boiled eggs, those are easy, I'm not going to film that. I have these cauliflower and broccoli hash browns and I'll show you the stats of everything upstairs when we start making it. So I think that's going to be my breakfast with just like a fried egg on top. Um, then I have some leftover cauliflower rice from, I think I had that from my pre-op diet. So I have a half a bag of that left and I have like chicken and cilantro little wontons. So I think that'll be a good little low carb or a low calorie like snack. We're going to do a couple turkey burgers and I'm going to attempt salmon. I have one like salmon filet, um, and I've never made it before, so we'll see how that goes. It's going to be quick, easy, not going to take a lot of time. Um, and I'm not really cooking anything, kind of just like pulling stuff out of the freezer. So it's going to be quick, it's going to be easy, and it's going to be delicious. So let's get started. All right, so this is the stuff we are working with. I just have some broccoli and cheese sauce that I think we'll eat with the salmon. Um, and we'll probably do... I would say a third cup, it's, so 20 calories, a gram of protein, um, quick and easy. Side for the fish, these are the turkey burgers, I just have two, we're going to grill these on my Ninja. Uh, these are the veggie hash browns I was talking about. I wanted to make one last week, but you like have to bake them, so we're just going to make all of them at once to see how they are. So there's no potato in here at all. So a serving is two patties, and obviously we're not going to eat two. Um, so for one, 70 calories, four grams of fat, six carbs, and two and a half grams of protein. So pretty good. And they're pretty good size. Let me get them open. I think with an egg on top, it'll be a perfect, a perfect meal. So same size, like it's pretty tiny. So I think that'll be good and delicious. So we'll beat those. We're going to fry up the rest of this cauliflower stir fry. Um, and this is low fat. I think I cut up. Oh, no, I didn't. Um, so, again, we're not going to probably even have a half a cup of this. I would say a quarter cup. But I'm going to throw, um, we're going to throw some eggs in this to kind of up the protein just because there's not a ton in either of these things. So, I think if I throw in like two eggs to get it up to like 14 grams of protein for this whole thing. And then we can divide later. And then these I just got at Sam's. Um, I'm gonna throw these back in the fridge because they're out of freezer because they're getting soft a little bit. But these are just like the um, the Trader Joe's ones, but this is a better deal. And I'm thinking I can probably eat like three of these. Um, so I'll have to figure out calorie wise and everything what that is. But I think that'll be a nice little snack. And then I have my salmon defrosting. I don't know if this is right. This is what it said to do. Oh yeah, it's defrosting. Um, I'm not gonna use all of this butter. I'll probably just only leave one on here. Um, Cause that's a lot of butter and a lot of fat. So yeah, we're definitely gonna take the butter off, but um, so we'll see how that goes. I'll probably bake this as well. So let's get going. All right, and just for time reference, it is 2.10. So we're gonna see how fast uh, I can go. I'm going to preheat the oven at 350. And then these are like my little sill packs. Um, and I've seen better days. But I think we're just going to bake a bunch of this just so we can throw it in there and forget about it. Um, so let's do, we'll do the salmon on this one, I think. And then let's just lay these out. And I think we can cook the turkey burgers also, but I'm going to throw them on. So 
of aluminum foil just so the juices don't go everywhere. Make a little boat for the turkey burgers. And I have two left. Look smarter, not harder. So I'm just gonna do that. Those will cook and hopefully not get everywhere. All right, I've broken it free. So we're gonna go skin side down. And then I think I'm just gonna do like half of one of these butters. Cause we don't need all that butter. I mean, I'm sure it tastes better, but let's just do that. And I'll count it as like a teaspoon of butter on this when we when I eventually put it into the tracker, because that, that's a lot of, I don't know, that's a lot of butter. I mean, I'm not a salmon eater, but that's a lot of butter. Um, all right, let me put these up to the side and then we'll get started on the stuff we're gonna fry um, on the oven, on the stove. All right, we are all set to go. I just turned on, I got six eggs, starting to hard boil over there. I'm going to spray each of these with a little avocado oil spray. And let's put these on. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is throw in the regular stir fry mix. Now I've done it before where I've just had the plain of, and I've added my own veggies, but I have this already and I wanna get rid of it. So we're gonna throw that in this one. We're going to let this start to crisp up. And then I've taken out uh, 12 uh, wontons. I think we could, once this um, wilts down a little bit, I think we can probably get four servings out of this. So I figure three wontons with a serving of this. I don't, we'll see. Um, so these I'm going to toss in here so they can start to crisp up. Okay, so most of the water is reduced out of here. Um, you can tell just by going like this and there's like hardly anything left. So I'm gonna add a little bit of stuff to this. I have a little bit of soy sauce. I'm just gonna add just a couple splashes. And then I did get this uh, a couple weeks ago, this teriyaki, teriyaki marinade. Sugar-free, all the GHU stuff is usually pretty good. So I'm just going to add a tablespoon um, to this. Smells good. Or slightly over a tablespoon. And we'll mix this up. We'll let that cook for just a minute. Okay, so now I've pushed all my rice off to the side. I'm gonna crack in two eggs as quickly as I can and scramble them up. So 
So that's pretty well cooked. Now we'll just mix this all together. I'm gonna actually turn the heat off on this side. This is two cups of rice and I added two eggs. So for one cup of rice is two grams of protein. Um, I'm gonna turn this up really low for a second. Um, so two eggs is 12 grams plus another four for the rice. Uh, so that's 16 grams of protein for this whole thing. And once, we'll see if we get four or five servings out. I think it's gonna be four. Uh, we'll let, I'll let you know what the total is. Now for these, they're nice and crispy. All I'm gonna do is add a couple tablespoons of water. It's gonna sizzle. And I'm just gonna throw a lid over them so they steam for a minute. Ooh. All right, so that's gonna be it for our wontons. I'm gonna put all this stuff off to the side and then we'll check our other stuff in a minute. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I have the broccoli going in the uh, microwave. That's pretty easy. I'm gonna take out the salmon. And we're gonna test the temperature because, because I don't know what I'm doing. Package said the inside needed to be 145, so let's see where we're at. Yeah, 133. So I'm gonna put this in just for a minute, a couple minutes longer. I did put it on the top rack, and it looks pretty close to being done, but we'll give it we'll give it another couple minutes. All right, now we're gonna check on the other sheet tray because I think I can flip uh, those hash browns. So let's see. Let's grab Let's grab these and flip them. Oh, there we go. Those look good. but I know they taste good, so that's, that's all that matters there. Wait, I'm gonna add a slice of cheese to these. Um, so obviously, I'm not gonna eat these with a bun or anything, so we need a little bit more flavor. And then I think everything can go back in for maybe another five minutes. And, uh, We'll be ready to go. So let's throw these back in. And I'll see you in five minutes. Actually, Sharpie, do you want to say hi to everyone? He's got a little shirt on to cover his stitch. He's been waiting very patiently for something to drop. Maybe he'll get a cookie after we're done. Are you feeling better? No response. Okay, we'll get him a cookie later. It's 2.45 now. The eggs have just another minute left. And I'm going to pull them. So this is everything we made in 30 minutes, basically, or heated up, I guess. I kind of made this. Um, but this is going to basically last me all week. Like the burgers, that'll be four meals. I have to weigh this out. This will at least be two to three meals, I think. These will be four. Um, and obviously that's like all week of breakfast. And then I still have like lunch meat and cheese, um, tuna salad. I can make egg salad with my hard boiled eggs. So this is gonna be plenty of food for me for the week. So I'm gonna pull the eggs, let this all kind of cool down. And then I will be back to show you how I package all this up. Okay, so I'm ready to plate up everything. While this was cooling off, I kind of wrote down everything like nutrition wise, just as this 
standard reminder, these are just, uh, this is what I eat, this is what my guidelines um, suggest and what I follow, and it's also everything that I purchased myself. If you go out and buy a different turkey burger, it has different stats, it's gonna be obviously different from um, what I have, and obviously if you're watching this, you've probably had bariatric surgery, so if not, you're gonna to need to eat more than I eat, but this is just my preface of saying don't do what I do, make sure you listen to your own uh, dietitian and follow your own rules. All right, so let's get started. For breakfast, our little hash browns, um, Per my guidelines, I can have up to 15 carbs per meal. So this one has 140 calories. I'll just make like a fried egg in the morning. Um, so 140 calories, six carbs, and eight grams of protein. So that is breakfast basically done. And I don't have to have these every day. I can skip a day if, you know, if I feel like it. Next will be like my lunch. So I'll probably flip flop between like lunch meat and cheese on the wasa crackers that are all over my instagram stories if you want to go see and then i have my little wontons so for a third of a cup of the rice which will measure out three wontons and like the sauce and everything i added it's 98 calories uh six grams of protein and seven carbs so again pretty good okay editing me here i'm jumping in because once I went to my post-op appointment, I basically need to be eating more than what I have portioned myself out. So those little uh, cups that I'm about to portion out in a second for 100 calories are not enough. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the rice or the cauliflower rice the same because that's enough of that. I'm going to add two more wontons to that meal. And then I'm also just going to like scramble an egg um, on the side and add it to the cauliflower rice just so I'm getting more protein and more calories. So, so that's another, it's basically going to be around 200 calories for that, for the dish. Once I make my edits, I don't have a video of it because I'm just going to do it in real time. So you just have to take my word for it. But that is my plan because I'm pretty sure I'm under eating. So those little cups are not going to be enough for me. Um, but that's what happens when you meal plan and then, you know, you learn more information. You got to change on the fly. So throwing this in there. Those are the new stats. Um, so I'll just kind of like fly through me filling up the cups because that is not what I'm eating. And then for dinner, it will be, I'll flip flop between the turkey burger and the salmon. So the turkey burger, what I'll do is I'll just add like a little bit of mayo, some lettuce and a tomato to top it off. Um, and I might have it with some fruit that I don't have calculated. This is just for the burger and cheese. It is 116 calories for half of the burger, 12 and a half grams of protein and one carb. And then for my salmon and uh, broccoli, it's gonna be 16 grams of protein, 114 calories and three carbs. So pretty low carb, pretty low cal. So let's get to plating or organizing here. So easy ones, I'm not gonna cut all these up. I'll do that when I go eat. So this is good, and same with this. Okay, maybe if it'll close. There we go. All right, so those two things, easy peasy. I'm going to plate up this. Now the bag said a half a cup or a third of a cup is about 50 grams. So let's just see what that looks like in here. It might be pretty close. There's 50, yeah, maybe I can get five meals out of this. So let's just add, let's see. Actually two works pretty well. Let's see how many I get and then maybe I'll have to redo the Stats. Divide up our salmon, and I always make such a mess when I do this. But I think I'm gonna cut this into 
thirds. And then we'll see how much that weighs. I think two ounces will probably be good. So let's see. One point seven. So yeah, we'll Actually, we're just going to break this up into two. So 2.3, 2.3. Okay, so we got two salmons out of that. And then the last thing we're going to divide up is just our easy veggies. Uh, we're just going to fill up in these plastic cups and I usually only am getting an ounce or two of veggies at a time uh, per meal so yeah so 1.6 so let me fill these up and then I'll show you everything at once So this is everything I made in 30 minutes. We have breakfast, uh, breakfast back here, lunch, dinners. I got enough veggies to go with both the salmon and the turkey burgers, so that's good. That's dinner for a week. We have snacks, lunch, I still have stuff in the fridge, eggs I can have for a snack. So yeah, pretty quick and easy meal prep. Now I have a whole mess of the kitchen to clean up. Uh, and I'll get this stuff all in the fridge and I'll put all like the info down below because I know I kind of just rattled it off here um, but I'll put everything down below if you have any questions feel free to drop them my my goal is to try to do one meal prep video a week fingers crossed I, I don't know if that'll happen uh, with my schedule on the weekends but I will definitely try my best because I like meal prepping and figuring out all the macros and stuff like that so I will probably get updated calorie information on my next meeting on Monday. So uh, that'll be interesting to try to incorporate whatever they tell me uh, next time I go see them. So I'm going to get all this away, clean up, and if you want real-time updates with like how the meals taste and everything, I'll put that on my Instagram at gina.vsg. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And as promised, we have cookies. Good job. Good job. All right. See you later.